Hi, it's Cheryl with Make and Share, and it's Inspiration Week at Inkon 3 with the reveal of three new Atelier inks. First, we have Sweet Petunia Pink, Trinity Teal, and Shark Tooth White. And I'm going to share with you how I use Atelier inks in my B6 Traveler's Notebook. I'm going to do a weekly layout. And so here's my notebook. It's just a plain dot grid notebook. And I'm going to mask off part of the planners. So I'm going to do a sidebar that's a gradient um, background. So I'm using low tack tape. And I'm going to add just one more layer just to kind of give myself a little bit more room to uh, of protection. <laughs> Then I'm going to use the Trinity Teal on the left side and then a foam blender. And then I'm going to just work from the bottom up with the color concentrating or, or having darker color at the bottom of the page. Since this is a planner, the planner pages aren't really meant to blend really well with ink, so I kind of do this dabbing method and just gradually kind of build the color or work the color out. And I do put this uh, piece of paper just to protect the pages behind the planner, just so I don't get the ink on the other planner pages, since it is a booklet. And there will be a moment there will be moments where you may not like the way it, the gradient background looks but the more you work it the more uh, it'll the color would um, kind of blend more smoothly so just keep working the color and uh, building the color and it'll look really nice and now that the teal side's done i'm going to do use the sweet petunia pink on the other side so i'm going to mask off just like i did on the left side and then i'm just kind of doing that to make sure it's aligned and then i will use the sweet petunia pink and a foam blender but this time i'm going to work from the top to the bottom So the gradient, um, the gradient background didn't blend quite as nicely as I'd like for the pink petunia. So, and it's uh, my own fault. So I'm using the shark tooth white to actually correct and kind of make the um, the gra gradient background or blend a little transition into the white a little bit more smoothly here. So that's it's kind of nice to have this nice highly pigmented white ink that could help uh, smooth out the background. And then now I'm going to use the Trinity Teal and the Beautiful Clear Stamp Set and stamp some flowers onto the background. So I'm gonna use the uh, teal on the lighter portion of the gradient. And I'm just kind of doing a random um, kind of pattern or a random background. And the ink does, Atelier inks do come to you super juicy. So if you ink up your stamps and use it in the planner, um, you should ink up your ink, uh, stamps with a light hand. Otherwise you might get some shadowing or bleed through. And 
then in the darker um, teal area, I'm going to use the Shark Tooth White. And as you can see, the Shark Tooth White ink is highly pigmented, and so you can stamp onto darker backgrounds and get a very nice image. And now that all the stamping is done, I am removing the mask to reveal a nice clean edge. And I will do this, a similar stamping on the uh, right side of the page as well. But this time I'm going to start off with the Shark Tooth White just because, um, as you can see on my ink pad, I have a little bit of staining from the Trinity Teal. So I'm going to use the white first and then I'll use a Sweet Petunia Pink after that. Now I'll use a Sweet Petunia Pink on the lighter gradient area. And then I'll remove my mask on the right side of the page. And then now I'm using a white gel pen just to add some little dots, just to add a little bit of a more whimsical touch to the um, to the side panels. And then I'm also using the white gel pen to make some corrections or to kind of clean up some of the areas where I may have um, put some ink where I didn't want it to be. And then now I'm using some Tombow Twin Tone markers to add some of the uh, some dots to the lighter area. And now I'm just using a straight edge to add a line just for some accent to the uh, to the page. And then now I'm going to divide up the planner pages for the days of the week. So I'm going to make four rectangles using a straight edge. I accidentally made that one too small, so I have to <laughs> redraw the line. Now I'm going to stamp out the days of the week and you can see that the Tellier inks are that you get a really nice clean crisp image even with very tiny detailed stamps. And in the, since I have eight boxes and there's seven days of the week, I'm going to stamp in a calendar or an October calendar on the lower right side of the page.
Now we're going to draw in the lines to divide out the days. Same thing on the pink side. And I'll add a little line right there just for some accent. And then I'm going to stamp out the dates. And erase out all of the pencil marks. And then just add, I'm going to draw a little heart just to divide the day and the date. And there you have it, a planner layout using the new Atelier inks. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you. Bye.